I've got my little assistant right here, ready to go. Good morning. Are you ready for part two of the collage art video? I'm ready. Here's part one. And uh, I thought about what I wanted to do. I have exactly in mind what I want to do, pretty much. But I'll leave you the surprise. Let's start working. Collage completed. I'm really satisfied with it. Let's take a closer look. There it is. Here's my original drawing as well, just to see the comparison. So basically what I decided to keep from this paper, the, the or original drawing was the hand, all the white notes of the piano. And I decided to paint black on the sides of the black notes just to add more contrast and use the background as a top reflection as if it was a very glossy notes that would reflect. And I really, really, really love the effect. Then I used charcoal to enhance the hand drawing uh, contour. I was debating whether I would use watercolor to kind of shade in a soft wash of yellow or light orange in the hand but i decided to keep it minimalistic just because i was feeling like the hand kind of matched the white notes and it also allowed the backdrop to really peek through without any other distraction i feel like if i would have colored in the hand then you would kind of lose the background and it would, it would get a little bit busy. But I really, really love the composition. I really love the notes peeking through here. Overall, I'm very, very satisfied with this. Just as you can see, this is my overlapping drawing that I stuck on here. And this here, the sliver, is what I cut out to let the background peek through. And on top of it, I just painted some black as you saw in the video. I kept some white of the paper for highlights. This kind of collage technique might not be for everyone because there's so many steps. <clears throat> but for me, I think it's really interesting to start with like a random 
background full of color and texture and then think of something that you want to overlay on top there's so many possibilities and i just i love this way of doing it even if i have to trace and draw and cut out and glue and repaint on top i think it's part of the fun part of the process and i feel like there's no real other way i would have come up with something like this it's with the help of every little steps like the strength of the paper printed is that it's like photos with a specific type of texture and color that i it would be so hard to reproduce myself so that's a really great quality of that step of the technique and then hand drawing something gives it like an organic kind of unique feel because everybody would draw differently and then mixing both together is really really cool and from here I could just leave my collage as is put like a a big coat of um, matte medium on top as kind of a varnish. I could even put some gloss varnish on specific areas, let's say the piano notes to make them like really glossy and pop. But I could also take this and use it as a study as I've done with my other collage and say, okay, I really, really love this. I'm seeing this as a really large painting and then just reproduce it in a really large canvas. I hope that by seeing my collage process, it kind of like sparked ideas in you to do it in your own way and to kind of like use some techniques in your own art process. Let me know if it did. And I'll see you tomorrow for another day in the studio.